So this is a this is an interesting question I have for you. Would you rather have love or money <laughs> at this point in your life? Oh man, me and my mom we had this conversation the other day, and she was like, "When are you gonna bring me some grandchildren? And when are you getting married and all this stuff?" And I'm like, I honestly don't think that's for me, at least right now. Um, to answer your question, of course, I would just want money. And it's not that I don't need love or anything like that, but I grew up around love. There's enough love inside of me. I'm not like this hateful person. But I think the way, the things that I've seen, the experiences I've had in relationships made me so focused on my goals that I don't even think about love. Like, I don't even think about... It It could be a million women right here, and I'm just on a computer, like, I don't really care about it. And I don't know if I'm, like, messed up <laughs> or whatnot, how to say it, but I just think I matured really early. So I didn't really have time to find a woman that wanted to be where I'm trying to go and do all these things at when I was young. So I just think that I would take the success, I would take the money any day because it's really hard to like get in here. It's like, it's a, it's a really big wall. So, you know, I can have love all day, but if we're broke, what's the point? You know, I would, I would rather have the success and things like that because I mean, even in my last relationship, I'm really private about my relationships, but screw it. <laughs> like in my last relationship, I was with this girl for like two years and it was basically like coaching. And I don't really have time for that with friendships or anything. It's either you have it or you don't. But if you have money or you have success, you don't really have to, to deal with that. Like my main, I don't really want more friendships. I don't really want more women. I just want more success. <laughs> and it's always been like that. Like I made a video where I was saying sorry to all the women who ever liked me or had a crush because I didn't really care at that time. Even in high school, I cared about going to Raw Talent or going to these training camps more than a relationship. And one day that may change. It's just that I know women have are evolving and have changed and all that stuff. But when I was growing up, the trends weren't really as positive as they are now. You know, there was no big chop. There was no unity. There was none of that. It was just like twerking and being a bad B word. So of course I didn't want to associate myself with that. And I know I may offend some people with that, but now it's cool to stay inside. Now it's cool to be with just one person. But when I was coming up, it wasn't any of that. So I avoided that by just focusing on my goals. Like now people want to be, want to do more. And I'm like, I saw that, you know, but as a teenager, you know, and it's just like, crap, you're ahead of your time. And it's a gift and a curse. The gift is you know better, so you do better. But the curse is, you know, who do you share it with? You know, like we, there were people I would go to these training camps with, but as far as like love and stuff like that, I just never really had that person where I was just like, we go, we're going to do this. <laughs> Hopefully one day though. What is the one thing that you would say really like hold you back? Honestly, my perception of people. That's, that's really my, <laughs> that's really the one thing that holds me back because I needed a team for so long. It took me until now to actually invite people in because it, I think my past and my perception of people, people don't realize what they put out into the world. They don't realize if you, just like we were just talking about women and stuff, if you're at the club and you're shaking your butt and you're doing all this and you're wearing all these clothes, but you expect for me to want to pursue you, that's not going to happen. 
you know, just because what you're putting out into the world is that <laughs> that you want some type of attention that I can't give you. And as far as friendships and people, it's been so hard for me to actually have a friend because of not even a friend, but like multiple friends because of what they put out there. They don't see when they post a video of them blowing out these weed circles, <laughs> these smoke circles, or if they're posting all this stuff, I don't want to be involved in that. But it's like a gift and a curse as well. When you mature early, you see that stuff and you're like, I'm okay. But then later on, when they stop doing that, they're like, oh yeah, nobody should do that. And I'm like, <laughs> it's just very frustrating. But my perception of people, because it's this quote I came up with. It's like, we stay away from the people that need us the most. Literally, all the people that are doing these things, we need to go around, but they put out this persona and I'm like, I don't even want to be around that. I don't know what you're into, <laughs> you know, but I had to actually get over that perception and just say, screw it, let me see who this person is inside. And that's what really held me back because there's so many brilliant people out here. It's just, I kind of stayed away from them because of what they were putting out. You know, you can't blame me. That's like, if you see a person, <laughs> his eyes are like this big, he's <laughs> this big and, and you know, he has a tattoo on his neck that says people killer. You could be like, no, I don't want to hang around this person. But that may be the most loving person in the world. It's just that what he puts out is so crazy that you're just like, maybe I'm cool. But I've learned just to get over that and just have people around. You just got to be on the same path as me. As long as you're passionate, we can hang out all day. But if you're not, if you want to just sit around and do nothing, leave me alone. And my past, um, even with relationships and all that stuff, it kind of scarred me for life. Like, I don't even think the same anymore. It's just like, like certain people know what happened and what goes on, but what what's going on now, but it was just my past and my perception of people that held me back. That's all I can say.